Hi everyone, this is Dan Dulac, Vice President of Solutions and Services here at Enterasys Networks. And I'd like to spend the next few minutes talking in more depth about the technical solution that we've put in place at Gillette Stadium for the Kraft Group and the New England Patriots. And I'm going to break this segment down into three key areas. And first and foremost, the first area is the, the, the end of the line, so to speak, where we're propagating radio and RF for users to connect wirelessly with their mobile devices to, to applications and game-specific information that the New England Patriots are offering to, again, enrich the fan experience. The second thing, and often uh, um, put on a back burner in some cases, is the backhaul. All that wireless data has to hit the wire and the, the ability for the infrastructure to uh, optimize that data, offload some of the visibility, control, and application provisioning onto the wired network is of most paramount when we're talking about connecting 68,000 users in a, in a small area. And then third and last is the data center technology and providing the applications, uh, again, the, the, the supply, the application supply, bridging that all the way out to the user. And you can't do that effectively unless you have full uh, high performance network infrastructure with visibility control telemetry built in uh, within the data center. So those are the three key, three key pieces, edge, distribution or LAN element all the way into the data center. So let's first talk about the edge and, um, and wireless, wireless technology that we've put in place. One of the challenges in a stadium environment is physical architecture, construction of the stadium. You have to combine uh, aesthetics of where your access points and where your antennas are put within the stadium. You have to make sure you're not uh, obstructing any views, that it doesn't look sloppy, that it doesn't look ugly, to meet the aesthetic demands from the original architectural design of any particular stadium. And so that was the first key challenge that we had is, okay, how do we maintain the architectural integrity, the look and feel, if you will, of the stadium uh, while providing the best wireless connectivity for all the users within the stadium? The other uh, uh, challenge with, with the stadium environment is while you're setting up and deploying and testing your, your access points and determining location of access points and antennas, you're doing so in an empty stadium. And while your, your settings might be okay and your, your AP and your antenna deployments might be okay in an empty stadium, when the stadium is full, many variables have changed. In fact, the human body consumes RF. We consume radio waves. So as you are sitting, as seats become more and more populated, the propagation of RF uh, becomes less and less. And when you're fixed to putting access points and antennas in certain locations that cannot be easily moved after they're installed, you have to take very close and concise measurements and pay very close attention to antenna design, antenna type, antenna angles, and where they're deployed in the environment. So that's been a, that, was a, that was a key challenge. And on that topic, uh, with regards to antenna design, we architected and engineered an antenna that was very focused, a very focused radio propagation uh, out to the sections within the different levels of the stadium. And the reason for that is 80% still uh, of mobile devices, both um, uh, the phones, mobile phones, smartphones, and tablets are running in the 2.4 gigahertz band. And that band is very, very condensed. There's not a lot of room for channel overlap. There's not a lot of bandwidth available, being that you're fixed to one, two, or perhaps three channels. And you have to minimize channel overlap. The more channel overlap you have in 2.4, or in any band for that matter, uh, the more interference you're gonna have, which impacts end user uh, experience, which is obviously not what we're uh, designing the solution for. So creating and engineering an antenna that was very focused uh, for, for depth, but very focused narrow band to minimize channel overlap was very important. Especially when we're talking about, again, we're still in the infancy of, of that migration from single band devices to dual band devices. As more and more devices move over to dual band, 
being 5 gigahertz, supporting 5 gigahertz, that will further simplify and provide not only more bandwidth, seven, seven times the, the throughput uh, capability, but also is going to minimize channel overlap, is going to ultimately even um, make the user experience even better uh, than it is at, at 2.4. Certainly directional antennas play a very important part in the bowl, but also omnidirectional antennas play an important part in other areas in the stadium, concession areas, uh, club seat areas, indoor areas. Um, so a mix of omnidirectional and directional antennas certainly play a significant role in making sure we're deploying enough AP hardware and technology, but yet not overspending and over budgeting uh, uh, that technology. So again, the right solution at the right price and not, and not investing too, too much where it would just be wasted, wasted overhead it was very important to, to the Patriots and Gillette Stadium. Obviously indoor and outdoor uh, uh, access points, very important. So many access points uh, deployed throughout the stadium that are in fact outdoor that can withstand, that can withstand extreme temperatures and environments um, deployed throughout. And indoor, indoor uh, access points as well, being that there's a lot of uh, access required in indoor facility within Gillette Stadium. Networking and cabling all those access points back into the wired network pose the next major challenge in that we're limited in Ethernet standards to about a 100 meter cable run. And as you can imagine, in a very large stadium environment connecting a single AP to a IDF uh, data center or that the first switch runs are much longer than 100 meters and so we actually had to engineer and deploy uh, environmentally protected outdoor IDF closets to, to again to mitigate the, the long cable runs needed to deploy wireless throughout the stadium. So that was the next uh, major engineering uh, challenge that we met was those uh, environmentally protected outdoor IDF closets that are hung around the stadium uh, to provide that uh, uh, LAN Ethernet connectivity to the access points. And ultimately connecting those IDFs back into the data center with 10, 10 gig density and capability provides the rich uh, bandwidth but also the application visibility and control to make sure that the Gillette specific applications like the live video is prioritized highest in the network to make sure that the fan experience is with that application is of best quality. Not only do the wireless network provide that capability, but the wired network has a role in that too. So it's not just a wireless solution, it's the combined wired and wireless solution that's very important in meeting the scale and demand of 68,000 wireless users uh, within a stadium environment. And lastly, the data center. Rich uh, virtual data center technologies put into place to deliver the application, the video streaming technology that Gillette Stadium has put into place, and really mar mar marrying the application to the network. Have, let the network prioritize, provision, and secure that application to ensure it meets the end user for, again, that high quality end user experience. So that's just a few of some of the technical challenge and challenges and hurdles that Interesis uh, very proudly uh, met the, the, with the solution needs. And as a result, there's many interests around not only the NFL, but stadium venues, colleges and universities around the country, around the world, but also large enterprises who have convention centers and cafeterias and these places where they have a, a density issue. And that really is the next, in my humble opinion, the next major challenge for wireless technology is how do you meet the density demands that are going to be put into the air in our enterprises, in our stadiums, in our large venues around the world. So I hope you, you uh, took away some, some key points. We'd be very interested in talking to you further about the solution. Uh, full website access and contact information is there. Again, my name is Dan Dulak. Happy to talk with you. See you again soon. Bye-bye.